So welcome back to, to Lindertis. We are pretty much well through the first turn of calving. We were supposed to start calving on the 5th of March and the first calves were on the ground on the 26th of February. We had I think 30 calves on the ground by the time we hit the 5th of March, which has been a good start for us here. And we are approaching the end of the first turn on, it'll be this Sunday. And so we're at 57% calved now. So I think by the time we hit Sunday, we'll be well over the 60% calved in the first turn, which would be great. So yeah, calving's going very well up to this point. Um, we haven't really had to intervene at all, certainly not with the heifers, they've just got on with it themselves. Um, produced nice lively calves of a good size that get up quick, get sucking. Um, and as mothers, they've been very good. The first one calved, she was just a bit fidgety and we did tie her up just to get the calf on to make sure it was getting that first suck of colostrum. But other than that, as a, a group, they've been very good. Good mothers, calved easily. Um, and good, good quality of milk there, which we're really pleased with. We were a little bit worried that they might have been too fat coming in off the grass in the summertime, and we have just tried to pull them back a little bit. But no, we're, we're quite pleased with the condition on them. They're going to go out to grass in good, good condition with hopefully good strong calves at their feet. Yeah, so if we think the, uh, the heifer's not settling with a calf, we will then pen that heifer up with a calf. We try not to have them in a pen for too long. We feel they never do as well when they're in a pen, you know, even if they've got plenty of water and feed there, they like to be out in the main pen with, with the rest of them. So as long as they're settled and happy and that calf's had the first suck of colostrum within the first two hours, we try to leave them alone as much as possible. We'll then tag them the next day. If it's a commercial calf and a male calf, they'll then be rubber ringed uh, the very next day. Uh, the pedigrees, they, they'll get left entire at this point. So looking to next year, the only thing we're really thinking we might change is possibly cutting that last three weeks off of the bulling period. We're, we're really pleased with how many have calved so quickly and how tight the calving is with them. So that might be the only thing we look at changing is possibly cutting off that last three weeks. It does make me nervous thinking of doing that, but you know that we could see a real benefit from that. So we, we build quite a large number of heifers for the amount of cows we calve, which gives us a really good cull number to play with. So anything that's had a problem calving, that we're not happy with, whether it's just been a bad mother, had a hard calving, or you know hasn't had a lot of milk for this calf, we'll just throw that straight into the cull pen. Um, we try and just have the most efficient cows that we can possibly have on farm that just give us the fewest issues. Uh, we don't want to be mucking around with something um, and taking up a lot of your day and you'll be getting on with, with other jobs. So the heifers are managed as a completely separate group. At calving time, they're in a shed on their own. After calving, before they go to grass, we try and keep them in the shed on their own as much as possible. Um, once they go to grass again, we'll try and keep them as their own bulling group. And the cows are rotationally grazed, so we can make sure that these heifers, um, when they go out to grass, there's plenty of grass there for them. They can feed them their growing body and hopefully be in a good condition to get in calf again. Um, when the bull goes out at the end of May.